made unprotected oh, sex basically what? as safe as it could be. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things that the porn industry congratulated itself on and said, Shy, that's why we all have any one. Islam. Go to show. Go to the show. Go to the show. We all have your face like that. So like, comment, share, download, tell your friends, tell your friends. Unless you like the same shit over and over and over and over. It ain't Groundhog Day, y'all. You know Bill Murray up in the round hall. Code the beach. Code the beach. Code the beach. Code the beach. No yellow flags over here, son. Code the beach. 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 Code Eric Cantor was just like the Nazi propagandist Joseph Goebbels. Yeah, that's what he said. And what evangelizing oh, have you done it. recently? That ain't good. Cool. Uh, because I am convinced, everybody, that when you've got God's word, you've got more than enough. And whatever people may be going through right now, they may be behind in their mortgage payment this month. They may be two months behind. They may be behind in their car note payments, or they may have gotten some diagnosis. Uh, from the doctors um, uh, that said that they've got a disease that's going to alter their lifestyle, uh, or they may have, have just have family difficulties. Uh, just a lot of things going on in their lives and their family, their children and grandchildren. Winning. And maybe, uh, you know, just and, and not maybe, but people are unemployed to tens of thousands, if not millions, of people in America are still unemployed. And these are some things. That God's word will settle. These are some things that God's word will settle and will give you direction. And what you want to do is say to people, well, just listen to what God said. Just, just listen and just listen to the man and listen to the trust and listen to him preach. Listen to him teach the word of God. Listen to man and teach the word and preach the word of God. And though he may not be talking about mortgages or settlements or loans, what he will be doing is preaching the word of God. And the word of God has this un unique The power. Babylonian booty shaking, Baphomet worshiping, bimbo Beyonce is Dude,
Michelle Williams, one of her bandmates, uh, apparently, you know, her money's running out and too much, you know, property taxes and other bills coming in. So Baphomet, Bimbo, the bottom feeding uh, Babylonian satanic slithering scum, uh, decided to throw her friend a bone and appeared in the music video where they're singing about Jesus. Beyonce is such a good actress, isn't she? She's about as good of an actress as the Christian heavy metal band frontman uh, in the band As I Lay Dying, who was convicted of uh, hiring a hitman to murder his wife, and then later admitted that he actually was an atheist and was just singing Christian music to dupe fans and try to tap into the Christian... They're having I'm sure they did the original as well. And it shows... You know, well, it's out. interesting. Yeah. I'll bring it up right now. Um, it shows how many uh, suicide vests they've exploded with graphs and you know bar graphs and charts. <laughs> yeah, let me show you what they've got. Um, it's the ISIS annual reports reveal metrics-driven military command. I, we don't, I haven't seen this for American military command. Annual report organization. Um, okay, they have the at- attack types, uh, assassination, armed, de- armed attack, bombing, bombing and burning houses, prisoners freed, suicide vehicle born, improvised explosive devices, suicide vests, uh, motorcycle-borne improvised explosive devices, knife attacks, targeted attacks, sniping, apostates repented, cities taken over, checkpoints set up, and, and they've got bar graphs for every single one of these uh, uh, metrics. Operations by province, percentage of attacks. It, it's fascinating to watch, but beautifully recreated by Kim Kagan's group there. And Kim Kagan's group, I need to point out, this is the group that also produced us with uh, produced Elizabeth Obagi or Obagi. Remember her? No. This was the girl who, uh, and she was perfect. She was the one, she was the go to girl for Syria. And she was. Um, in fact, it was John Kerry and John McCain who would be quoting her research, and then it turned out that she didn't have a PhD and she had to go away. You do you remember this story? Yeah, I remember that vaguely. She was from the Institute for the Study of War. Uh. Uh-huh. So she was, and the problem was, she was advising military pol- uh, politicians and industry simultaneously. Mm. Some would say a conflict, conflict of, of interest. interest. <laughs> some, some might say it somewhere. Okay, here's a Kim uh, regarding the really the the scale of this and that it's much bigger than just Syria and Iraq. We're doing this to provoke sectarian violence, um, and we have and, and the lie that it's for sectarian violence. Okay, have to remember that ISIS uh, actually wants to provoke sectarian violence. It is trying to create a sectarian war throughout the Middle East uh, with violence that goes uh, from uh, south of Baghdad. All the way through Syria into Lebanon and into neighboring states. Um, and this civil war will make what we saw in Iraq in 2006 7 pale in comparison. It's going to be a bonanza. It's going to be a big one, baby. All the way down to Jordan. The rivers of Jordan are deep and wide. Um, well, it's been hinted at that Jordan would get get sucked into this oh, yeah. uh, early well, on. They're part so of we, the Lebanon. Fair, fair warning. Fair warning. All this. Fair warning. Oh, yeah. Now, if th- you're paying attention, you'd know that this is going to happen. Now, uh, Biden said a number of years ago, <laughs> man, we should split this place up anyway, which, of course, is the mission, is to create a new state, um, have the Kurds have their thing with the oil, which all of this is really about at the end of the day. Right, I think that Kurds are the are the key to this. Yeah, yeah. And in your testimony, you address uh, online advertisements. Uh, what would you like to see done? If I can just give three ideas, I'm just trying to be constructive. Hear them. I'd like to hear them. Uh, I think the private sector can help by creating a quick reference registry that lists celebrities who are legitimately connected to products. So I don't happen to have any products that I sell, but uh, whether the services and uh, are being promised by, and involve Ellen DeGeneres, Jimmy Fallon, Rachel Ray in a list of scam celebrities. When it comes to climate change, when it comes to food security, (laughs) we are literally facing a moment of adversity, perhaps even dire. It's hard to convince people, hard to convince people of a challenge that isn't immediately tangible to everybody particularly. But it is clear to at least 98, 99% of all the scientists in our country that to confront these challenges, we must invent and we must innovate. And most of all, We need to work together, and we need to get to work. I have every confidence that we can do that. That is our mission. It's our call to conscience. Summary two riddles. I think it's something interesting we could do on the show. I don't got a jingle yet, but here we go. Riddle me, riddle me, riddle me this, and riddle me that. 
<laughs> I'll work on it. But I'm going to say two jobs, riddles. I'm not going to give you the answers. And we'll play jobs. a quick little let's song and then jobs. I'll give you the answers after that. So let's go, my I people. Jackass. Poor people have it. Rich people need it. If you eat it, you die. What is it? And number two, what comes down but never goes up? So riddle me this or riddle me that. Let's go. Getting the gold, it's being bought so quick. Go to the beach. So you're ready for the riddles, right? Poor people have it, rich people need it. If you eat it, you die. What is it? Nothing. <laughs> and number dulce was what comes down but never goes up. Rain. Rain in one of them. That was back. We'll work it out. When you uh, like, comment, share, download, call the bitch up. So this is next clip from Amir Friedman Flack from on YouTube. And he posts on one episode. This is your boy right here. The first time I'm going to show up, I'm going to put some other things in the next code in the bait shop. Let's keep it moving and let's keep it going. Then open my time, empty one. What up? Hello, everybody. That is Bob Sutt. I'm Marty Leeds. I'm the author of the book. I'm the author of the English Alphabet, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Um, I have an Android phone app that you can buy for your Android phone, and what it will help you do is calculate um, words and phrases and sentences with this cipher that we're going to learn today. Um, and you can get information in the other room from me. Um, like I said, martinleads33.com, and I'm also a teacher at the School of the Holy Science Dialogue with a bunch of great researchers. Sam Spinacci, Yoan Oldenkamp, Jason Rubelli, uh, Bill Donahue, uh, great site, so please check that out. And as of next month, I will be starting my own radio show called Marty Leeds Math Magical Radio Hour. Uh, looking at, it's a bi weekly radio show looking at myth, math, spirituality, symbolism, philosophy, and the whole bit. Um, and that's at astrotheologyradio.com. So that's all my quick plugs and anyway. So what we're going to learn today is about, most people know it as Jewish Kabbalah. Um, and it's also called gematria or numerology. And what English gematria is, is the art of signing numbers They're to letters to reveal getting the gold that's being bought so And quick. so what we're going to do is look at this phenomenon in the English language in and of itself. Um, now, many other languages have had a cipher, or had a mathematical structure behind it. We know that the Hebrew tongue had it, we know the Greek, Greek tongue had it as well. We saw the cipher for that. And so what we're going to do is take a look at this phenomenon in the English language. The first question we have to ask ourselves is, what is language? What is this medium that we're using right now to communicate with each other? Um, language has been a thorn in the side of philologists and linguists and scientists for a long time. Um, and so we see, we don't really have an answer to this question, what language is. But the Bible tells us that in the beginning was the word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Um, and ultimately, that Word became flesh. And so, what is this Word that the Bible is speaking of? Most people think that the Word of God is this thing here. And this is not what's being said. The Word comes to us from the Greek term logos. And this is where we get the term logo. And a logo is a symbol. And so, we see the Word from the Greek translated to logos. And what the logos is, is the akin to the Word is an underlying animating principle that's at work of the universe. And this is an evolutionary principle. And this is what's, this is what's important to know. Um, the Logos was defined, had a bevy of definitions. It had a defined symbol, reason, ratio, geometry. And so we can see that this word, Logos of God, had many different characteristics to it. 
Now, this, this is also expressed in the beginning of the Bible, where it says, um, in the beginning, God said, God said, let there be light. So once again, it's a word. Something's being spoken. Sound is being emitted. We also have this idea of the, in Hinduism, it's the A-U-M. It's this, oh, that sound. That is the same concept that we see in Hinduism and we see in Christianity. Now, if you want to hear this sound, all you have to do is plug your ears and do this with me right now. Do you hear that? Squirrel! So, the evolution of the alphabet. We don't know where the English alphabet comes from. We know it stemmed from the Latin alphabet. So we have the English alphabet, we have the Latin alphabet, we have the uh, Coptic alphabet, uh, the Greek alphabet, we have the Hebrew alphabet, and the Syriac alphabet. And so you can see we have similar things. We have similar elements going from one language to the next, but we don't know how it was evolved, we don't know where it stemmed from, who created it, how it was created. Um, and we really, this is actually the science is in! This technology is basically the study of what we can know. And in order to really understand where our alphabet comes from, we would have to go, literally go back in time and see who created it, see how it manifested, and we can't do that. So the only thing that we can do now is actually look at our alphabet and see what it has to offer. Okay. And so the question is, you know, where do our ABCs come from? We don't know. But as Alan Steinbuckle said, we know that we came from the stars. Modern science says it, and so does the Bible. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, we came from stars. So where do our ABCs come from? Well, if we came from the stars, we should assume Make that gold. our alphabet came from the stars as well. And it's no coincidence that the alphabet song is sung to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. <laughs> so how we're going to look at the English alphabet is through the universal language of mathematics. Mathematics is a language that's shared by all cultures, all time, all space. Why? Look at your hands. Ten fingers. That's our, that's our base ten system. Now, this universal language of mathematics was taught by some of the finest minds in history. Galileo Galilei said, Mathematics is the language that God wrote the universe in. Plato, the Greek philosopher Plato, said, Numbers are the highest degree of knowledge. It is knowledge itself. The great uh, great Jobs, Saint jobs, said, jobs and jobs. Let's vote for jobs. The fact is, the is that there is a jackass. So I wanted to read this real quick. There's actually a movie about this one. Butterfly Effect. In KOS theory, it is the sensitive dependency on initial conditions in which a small change at one place in a nonlinear system uh, is general physics. The idea used in chaos theory that a small difference in the initial significance and difference to the at some later time. So the reference is, like, if a butterfly flaps its wings in one part of the world, does it stir up so much energy that it causes a hurricane in another part or something like that? But another term kind of off of that is Cobra Effect. It is a solution for solving a problem that can make it worse. Another definition was the same thing, kind of. When an attempted solution to a problem actually makes the problem worse. There's no issue So Butterfly Effect and Cobra Effect to today's words, everybody. The more power that's given to corporations, the more disenfranchised average Americans become. This twisted dichotomy is the motivation behind the California March for Democracy. It's a 480-mile, 37-day walk from L.A. to Sacramento's Capitol building. Earlier, I was joined by the organizer of the march, Kai Newkirk, and founder of 99 Rise. I first asked him what prompted this mass action. Well, I realized, like many, that the fact is that we don't live in a democracy in America anymore. Billionaires and corporations are buying our elections and running our government for them and not for the people. And if we don't change that, we're not going to have a future. We won't be able to deal with the urgent problems that we face from preventing catastrophic climate change to reducing uh, historic economic inequality. And we realize that we need to build a mass nonviolent movement to do that. And we need to show people and take action that uh, models the seriousness of this crisis and shows the courage and commitment it's going to take to end it. So we decided 33 days ago, we set out from Los Angeles, Angeles and we're walking almost 500 miles to our state capital in Sacramento to mobilize the public to take a stand and end this corruption of money and politics and save our democracy. It's a 37-day march, as you said. You guys have made several strategic, strategic excuse me, stops along the way, holding workshops, hosting speakers. Can we talk about what some of this has entailed um, on the way. 
It's been a tremendous feat. You know, we're a grassroots organization, 99 Rise, and taking this on we knew was going to be a challenge, but we feel like, you know, if we don't build this movement, we're not going to win the change that we need, the constitutional amendment, the federal legislation that's going to clarify that money is not speech, that corporations are not people, and that Congress has the right to regulate campaign spending to ensure political equality. And we're trying to follow in the footsteps of movements like the United Farm Workers and Cesar Chavez, Martin Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement that did these long marches to mobilize the public and inspire people to take action. And it's been a lot of hard work, but through uh, the sacrifice of this march, all the blisters, the pain, the heat, we've been sustained by the encouragement of support uh, and support from everyone in the communities we've passed through. And Kai, you guys are taking the march to Sacramento, as you mentioned. What exactly are you going to urge the state legislature to do once you arrive? Exactly. We're bringing a simple demand to the leaders of our state. We want them to tell the truth to the people of our state that the system is corrupt. Let me read a little bit of shockingtimes.co.uk. They're having naked trouble getting the coal that's being in bought Vienna, so quick. Vienna and naked some be their cause traffic chaos in Vienna after distracted drivers crash their cars. The woman who was topped up her tan with her legs dangling off of the window of her apartment block literally ground traffic to halt as several drivers blocked the road to get a glimpse of her. Kid makes shocking discovery in an abandoned house finds hanging mummified body. The type of this thing only seems to happen in horror movies. A 12-year-old boy from Ohio found himself in a house of horrors as he explored an old vacant house in Dayton and discovered a mummified Bobby body hanging in the closet of a belt. According to local authorities, the body had been there for five years and was identified as 53-year-old Edward Burton. Uh... ASOS caught in the act of Photoshop boobs. Everyone knows it's done, but only a few say anything about it. Airbrushing models to making your clothes sell better is a world where big boobs and tiny waists are seen by many as perfection. A smaller than average straight up and down figure just isn't going to cut it or do your products any favors. So ASOS has been named the culprit, and it's just another retailer to join the Photoshop wall of shame. Woman admits to wanking often. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Woman admits to winking dolphins. There must be some point during your job where you must think, I'm taking this too far. Clearly not. Margaret Howe, who back in 1965 was taking a NASA-led experiment which aimed to try to teach bottlenose dolphins to speak English. Guess a lot more, too, eh? Rick Merrill, British comedian and actor, dies at age 56. Uh, goes to Vegas, returns a millionaire. Sounds easy. It'd be great if it was, but for the newest millionaire to leave Las Vegas, Jonathan Deming. That's exactly what he has done. Deming has just won the second largest poker tournament ever, arrived a whopping 1.3 mil. And a lot of these I've already read. So I've actually been watching a lot of the World Cup, but that's not what it is. But it's in Brazil, so I bring this up. Genetically modified maggots may appear on fruit due to GMO fruit fly experiment in Brazil. Uh, wait. Wasn't that a point of making genetically modified crops to make them pest resi resistant? At least that's what biotech companies tell us. Monsanto's own website says, for example, that BT or Baxillian, I can't even say that shit, and I like to say this shit's fucked up, is a modern solution to insect control. So why on earth would Brazil allow for GMO Mediterranean fruit flies, uh, which have been planted to be unleashed on millions of acres of fruit trees. While the experiment has yet to be given the uh, release date in Brazil, the GM fruit flies are likely going to lead to GM maggots of fruit that will likely be the illegal export to Europe and other countries. What could cause that? The science Once is released, in. The genetically altered fruit flies will meet with flies and produce female offspring, which will fail to reach full matur maturity, therefore leaving GM maggots inside fruit. That is disgusting, everybody. But that's what they keep feeding us. We are fighting today. And we that's not even the GM shit factory, too. Right? To impose Sharia law in, in Syria. I also can't see sending my son to fight with Islamic rebels against Christians. I also can't see my son going to fight with Al, on the same side as Al-Qaeda. There are so many ironies and unfortunate muddling nature to this. I can't gold. see why we should get involved. So here is a list of different countries that we've gone into and supported terrorists. I found an interesting article on alternet.org titled 35 countries where the U.S. has supported fascists, drug lords, and terrorists. Number one would be Afghanistan. After Mikhail Gorbachev withdrew Soviet forces in 1989, these U.S.-backed warlords tore the country apart 
and boosted opium production to an unprecedented level of 2,000 to 3,000 tons per year. The Taliban government cut opium production by 95% in two years between 1999 and 2001, but the U.S. invasion in 2001 restored the warlords and drug lords' power. And let's go recruit these mujahideen and let's great. Let's do something. Jobs, jobs, and jobs. Let's vote for jobs. Another country that is a jackass. That supported terrorist activity would be Mexico. The death toll in Mexico's drug war has recently passed 100,000. The most violent of the drug cartels is Los Zetas. The U.S. officials call the Zetas the most technologically advanced, sophisticated, and dangerous drug cartel operating in Mexico. The Zetas cartel was formed by Mexican security forces trained by U.S. Special Forces at the School of the Americas in Fort Benning, Georgia, and at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Another instance was in Nicaragua. Anastasio Somasa ruled Nicaragua for 43 years with unconditional U.S. support, and his National Guard committed every crime imaginable, from massacres and torture to extortion. The ten sublimated virtues, in addition to their widespread popularity, one of the reasons that the Jakalas hold such an esteemed place in the Buddhist canon is that they describe the bulk of Vidya's moral evolution as the true of all beings. Human and animal are defined on the path towards enlightenment. The Bhadvishva was committed to the practice of a specific group of fundamental virtues, the Panmitas. The imagination of these virtues differs slightly between the doctrines of the Buddhism and the ancients known as Himalayan, lesser vehicle, and the more evolved Maha, greater vehicle, which emerged around the beginning of the Christian era. In addition, Buddhists of the play canon in the Something <laughs> Fatimas are described thusly as acts of liberal giving, um, boundless given. For centuries, it has been from the great jakas to the reference to the number of stanzas in the play canon that the most borrowing has occurred. Each of these ten jakas is presented as an historical legend intended to illustrate in a given virtue and an abundance or renunciation of energy, beloveness, and determination, patience, morality, honesty, uh, humility, and intelligence, and wisdom. The the most famous is the number 547 and alteration to the act of giving holiday every day. Because of the obvious threat to untold numbers of citizens and because of the crisis which is even now developing, this radio station will remain on the air day and night. This station and hundreds of other radio and TV stations throughout this part of the country are pooling their resources through any emergency network hookup to keep you informed of all developments. The ghost and the document have come. Thanks for listening to The Golden Show. All thoughts and opinions are solely that of the host, guests, and sources of the Golden Show. Show. Early morning, Bob. They're having trouble getting the gold. It's being bought yeah, so quick. Talking about, 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 talking